Hello, my name is Mario McNally and I'm with Team One called First Aid Designs and we are working on a solution for the warehousing industry. Collectively, we designed a swarm of robots to help improve tasks that already exist in these warehouses. The first robot is a column row robot that will relay to the central hub the position of a pallet in the warehouse. My robot is the next robot and it is an automated forklift robot that will go to the pallet's location, retrieve it off the shelf and place it on the ground. From there, another robot will pick up the pallet and deliver it to the loading bay. There will be a smaller robot there that will pick that pallet up and then load it into the delivery truck in its proper location. There is also a drone robot that is checking the inventory. As you can see from the problem definition, 4.8 out of every 100 workers are injured in warehouses. Retrieving and delivering items count for 50% of time wasted. Labor shortages are increasing and this leads to poor work environments. Here we have the mechanical design. We have a button pin on the front of the forklift right here, which we use to detect when the pallet is completely loaded onto the forks. Here we have on the side, this will be a DC motor housed in the mast. The mast has uh, interlocking channels that we use to, for horizontal control. Here we have four DC motors that will power each wheels. This purple box right here will be housing the electrical components such as the Arduino and the breadboard. Um, these two blue squares are the distance sensors. The one up top will be used on the forklift to guide it up and down, and this one will be used to guide the robot in driving. Here we have the circuit design. So this is a sensor used to drive the robot. We have this one right here that will be used to raise and guide the forklift. These four motors are used to power the individual wheels. This motor right here is used to power the uh, raising and lifting of the forklift. Here is our button pin used to detect the pallet and this is all powered by these two chips. Here we have the Arduino code. As you can see from the Arduino code, I just included the main functions on there, but the code was fairly extensive. And if we follow the flowchart, you can see from the beginning, this is where we set the inputs out and outputs of everything and begin the serial print. From there, we'll start going horizontally down the row until we reach our certain location. From there, we'll turn a direction given to us by the central hub. Then we will travel vertically down to the actual between the shelves itself until we reach the certain direction where the pallet is located. And then we will turn in that direction where it is. Then we will, once we get there, we will raise the forklift until we get to the appropriate height. Once we get to the appropriate height, we will begin moving forward until the button pin is pushed. Then we will raise the forklift again to lift it off the shelf. Once it's reached that location, then we will reverse the forklift until we reach a desired uh, distance. And then we will lower the forklift onto the ground, wait for the robot to come back and pick up the pallet, go home where the central hub will give us another set of commands. Here we have the budget, which is in total $115. Here we have the demonstration. All of the information about where the pallet is located is provided by the central hub. If you pay attention to the serial monitor, you'll be able to tell which direction the forklift is heading as it prints out. So it'll go from vertical to horizontal until it reaches the actual pallet's location, and then you'll start printing out the distance of the forklift when it's raising and lowering. I hope you enjoy it. In summary, we hope in our automation can reduce the rate of injuries in the workforce, as well as increase work production and be a solution for labor shortages. Thank you for your time.